Hello, Scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today with my very first layout using the Scrapbooking Store kit for this month. If you haven't seen the kit share, I will make sure to leave a link below so that you can go and check it out. You can still purchase this kit in the shop, so make sure you use my link that is also below. Okay, so you can see I'm actually doing a page of myself. One of the things that has changed in my house this year is that my children will not let me take photos of them. So I have resorted to taking a lot more selfies. And on this particular day, I had done my makeup and I was really, really happy with how my eyeshadow looked. And so I decided to take a shot with my eyes open and then with my eyes closed so that you could see that I had done my eye makeup too. I don't know if you can tell very well in the video, but it definitely shows up in person and I really, really like my makeup on this day. Okay, so here you can see I am, it took me a little bit to decide what background paper to use and I actually don't even stick with the one that I have right now, but that's okay. I am, here I am cutting out a, um, a mat for the photos and then here I'm gonna put this pink paper behind the photos coming out of the sides of that big rainbow mat so I really really loved the rainbow paper but I kind of felt like it was too much uh, to be a bigger part of the layout if that makes sense so what I decided to do was cover it up with the photos, but you can still see it at the top and the bottom. And I really, really liked how that looked. Now here is where I'm deciding, okay, I want certain pieces of this um, paper to stand out because it does have different words on it. Um, ones that I can read right now, just sitting here is mother, boss, teacher, survivor, listener, explorer, uh, storyteller, girlfriend, student, champion, creator, partner, wife, artist, fighter. Um, yeah, role model. Um, the other ones are kind of covered up, so I can't really see. So I wanted, I definitely wanted partner and wife to stand out on the right side, and then mother and teacher and... Um, yeah, those were the ones that I wanted to stand out on the left side. So this is where I decide, okay, this is not really standing out against that background. So I decided to go with this darker kind of pinkish red. It's a really pretty, it looks more pink in person. It looks very reddish on the camera and I like the pink more than I like the red look. So I'm sorry if it bothers you, but I really liked this background. And so I am going to pull out this Blossom ink pad from Close to My Heart. And I am going to just start inking the edges of everything. Because it was such a dark background, I did want to make sure that you could kind of see a little bit of it. Oh, so I decided to go with Pixie, apparently. I thought I used Blossom. Um, so I'm going to use Pixie Close to My Heart ink, and I will make sure to leave a link below to my consultant's website. She's awesome. I absolutely love her. Uh, her name is Miranda Weber. I thought about becoming a Close to My Heart consultant again, but it's just so much work to be a consultant because you have to keep up with your sales, and I just don't have time to, like advertise and do things and right now so it makes me sad because it would be awesome to be a consultant again but it's just a lot of work a lot more work than you would think okay so now like I said I'm just inking all of the edges and then I'm gonna glue 
everything down. I really liked those little tabs that I had in that top cluster. And then this is where I decided I really, really liked that rainbow paper. And so I didn't want to waste all of that part of it that was going to be in the middle that you wouldn't even see behind the photos. So I did decide to just cut the edges off and I'm going to use that here at the top and the bottom. So I'm going to start gluing all that down, making it look perfect and fit it on the layout. Okay, so now I have glued almost everything down. I'm just getting the photos on after all of the pattern papers and... Now I'm going to start putting down my embellishments and my title. So at first, right when I decided that I was going to use these two photos of me and it was going to be like about, you know, makeup and just being myself, I knew I wanted to use that fresh cursive letter as my title. And I, um, then I found the word fancy that was from that same embellishment pack that came from the upgrade kit. And I was super excited about that. So then I'm going to use that tag be yourself and I'm going to use a bunch of the flowers, um, from the ephemera pack. If you don't know what collection this is, this is, I think this is a newer collection. It might have been from CHA this year and it is just called One of a Kind from My Mind's Eye and it's just all about being amazing. We are amazing, aren't we? As moms, um, sisters, aunts, uncles, teachers, uncles. Oh my goodness, no. I'm talking about being a woman. <laughs> it's all about being a woman and just being awesome. And it's such a good thing to have out there right now because so many women have self-esteem issues because of social media and just everything. And they feel, a lot of women feel judged and just, it's so good to have a, a such a happy and... Um, just really good woman collection. Okay, so now I have all of the embellishments down where I want them to go. I'm just going to start gluing them all down. And this is it for this layout. I don't really do anything else. I don't think I'm going to do any journaling. If I do, I might just end up doing a little tag up in that top left hand corner on the back of the layout and just make it so that it can come out of the layout off of the back of the layout. So now here I'm gluing down these pretty flowers and that little banner. And then there's a sticker, a phrase sticker that says choose happy. So my title is just going to be fancy fresh because I feel fancy and I feel fresh when I do my makeup. And I really love doing my makeup. Like Mark will ask me, Ooh, who are you dressing up for? And it's like, I'm not dressing up for anybody. I'm just, I want to feel good about myself. I want, I want this. I need this, you know, like, and it's not like he's saying it to be mean or rude or anything, but he just, I guess he just doesn't understand what makeup can do for women, especially these days. It just can make you feel like a real person. And it's not that you're trying to be somebody that you're not. It's just nice to look nice. <laughs> Very deep thoughts, right? Okay, so I'm going to jump off here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out my links below and go pick up your own kit. And I will talk to you again very soon. I will have another layout using this kit later this week. I'm a bit behind this month if you haven't um, been able to tell. So make sure to check out this kit. It's awesome. I absolutely love it. And... Yeah. I hope you have a wonderful scrappy day. Bye.